This is the girl you think's the best no limit holding player. I just want <laughs> <laughs> and you bet all your money on. I just want you to remember that. I'm okay with it. Jennifer Harmon raises the 1800 with eight deuce offsuit. I think she watched Antonio <laughs> play against Phil, but this time Phil has a hand. I bet Phil. Phil just called with his queen. Johnny Chan threw his hand away. Chan's out, so they all head to the flop. Check it. Phil checked blind. 5, 10, 6 on the flop. And now Jennifer's probably got a bet here because she started out just like Antonio with intentions of buying this hand. She bets 2,500. Phil's thinking about what to do here. He just calls. Jennifer has no hand. She's trying to convince Phil she has a hand. Phil has a hand. He's trying to convince Jennifer he has no hand. <laughs> Turn cards nine of diamonds. And Phil checks. Waiting for Jennifer to bet here. And she checks. River cards is seven. Jennifer's made a straight. Phil slow played himself into oblivion <laughs> here, and for the first time in this hand, he bets. Queens. Jennifer just calls, shows Phil her straight. Phil can't straight. believe it. What happened here? Who raised the flop? You did? He just called? <clears throat> What'd you nice have, hand. eight deuce? Get two suits, though. Eight deuce off suit? Wow. This is the girl you think's the best no limit holding player. I just want <laughs> <laughs> and you bet all your money on. I just want you to remember that. I'm going to come in. You know I'm going to come in, but when I come in, I'm going to bring about 20 million with me. <laughs> you That's know how I'm long the do. list is going to be, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be one heck of a game, yeah. You know how long the list is going to be? <laughs> Anybody wants to get in that game where Phil Helmuth is bringing 20 million to the table, just call 1 900 555 <laughs> Phil! <laughs> Damon Agrano raises the $5,000. Jennifer Harmon's already limped in with her ace queen offsuit. How much? You can't limp in every pot. I got, 5, you know, I mean, I've got my reputation. I need to hurt some people. Uh, what reputation? You're not a violent person, Phil. You got a reputation for being kind of live. I wouldn't say violent, just misunderstood. I was live again that last Harmon's up $50,000 for the game. Jennifer's thinking about whether to raise here. Sure. No, she calls. She was waiting for you to raise this pot instead of Daniel popping up five more thousand dollars. <laughs> well, let, let you two fight it out. So Helmuth right. and Chan fold, so to the flop we go with two players. Eight, Jack, six. Daniel swapped a pair of eights with a backdoor flush draw, but not Johnny good. Chan good. said maybe Jennifer was waiting for Daniel to raise, and that's on Daniel's mind, and he checks. Yeah, prop. So I don't care about the <laughs> Now, Jennifer's also aware that Johnny Chan commented on her conservative image, and it looks like she's going to try and exploit that right here. Yeah. How much? 8000 Harmon bets $8,000. Better make sure I got what I think I got. Daniel knows what he's got. He just doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> and Jennifer is correctly putting Daniel on an underpair to that jack. Ronald calls. Turn card, another six, pairing the board. Again, Daniel doesn't know what to do with his hand. Jennifer's going to fire another bullet here. Sixteen thousand from Harmon. Jennifer came to play today. Yeah. Look at that. She's got a game face on. I'm surprised she doesn't have some eye black under her <laughs> eyes here. <laughs> Daniel is really confused. I'm sick feeling she has aces. Buddy calls anyway. River's a deuce. Now, is Jennifer going to fire that last bullet? Because of their familiarity with each other, Jennifer is reading Daniel very well in this hand. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. 
Hands are shaking a little bit there. <laughs> that could be a real shake, or it could be deception. That's what Daniel's thinking. <laughs> it happens to be a real shake. <laughs> How much is that? I think it's 25. Daniel gives up immediately. Yeah, wow. You got it. Like I said, Jennifer came to play today. Yep, she bluffs her way to a Why juicy pot full? worth 86200 bucks. Jack's full, kings, aces. I feel like it was one of those. Where are we at, Daniel? Oh, that was a Negrano three, right? had mounted a pretty good comeback uh, lately, but he completely misread that hand. He had no idea. Jennifer just had a raise. pair of sevens. Raise. And look at this. She's going to raise here with the seven four diamonds now. Hello, Jenny. Hey, yo. Jennifer would have never done this in the first season. As funny, I recall the $2,000 raise. Oh. Ming is in. Farha's is in. Oh. So three players called Jennifer's raise. Block comes two nines and a ten. Both Ming and Antonio have a pair of tens. Antonio's got the king. Ming's got the ace kicker, the best hand right now. And Jennifer has nothing. Is going to bet 6,000. 6, I want to know what kind of beer she's drinking. <laughs> yeah, really, give me some of that. I would think that Antonio, mm -hmm. noticing how Jen played the last hand, would call with his king 10 here at least one time. How much? Six times. Six thousand, huh? It won't be a good call because Ming's got a better hand, but I would think it's a call he has to make, and he's not going to. Now he lays down his ten. And Ming's gonna call instantly. Sammy's gone. So it's Ming with top pair and top kicker against Jen with nothing. Eight of hearts on the turn. That gives Jennifer a straight draw. Check. Check, check. Ribbons of king of hearts. Antonio would have had the best hand here. Check. Ming doesn't like the king. So he checks. And is Jennifer going to bluff at this pot? She's got seven high. She's been dictating the action all the way in this hand. Oh. <laughs> and it looks like she's going to bet. Do it again. $17,000 bet. With seven high. And what is Mr. Ming going to do? He throws it away wow. instantly. Nice play. So Harmon wins two pots in a row. This last one yeah, good for over $20,000. I'm the worst player in history. You probably ever. made the right lay down. Right, two thousand. I might. You know what? I'm gonna. Uh, this is a gamble I give you. I call in the dark. I mean, you guys. Harmon raises to two thousand dollars with call pocket queens. And Mike Mattis out call without looking at his cards. Call in the dark, boys. I call in the dark. Now I'm gonna look. The cameras have seen it. You have call in the ever? dark? Of course I call in the dark. Oh my gosh. Well, it's only two thousand. Blob comes in? six seven yeah. nine with there. two diamonds. And Eight. both Daniel Legrano and Antonio have open and straight draws. Jennifer's still got the best hand with Queens. Harmon bets $8,000. And Mattisau calls with a pair of nines. Maybe calling in the dark is going to get him in trouble. Now Antonio massage all of a sudden stops. Wow. I guess he's feeling good. And he's going to raise with his pair of eights and his open end straight. He raises the $32,000. Legrano folds. And Jennifer's got a big decision here. If Antonio has a straight, or even two pair, she's in pretty bad shape. She's in good shape if Antonio has the kind of hand he has, pair of eights. How much more you got? This is when poker gets exciting. As he's counting, Jennifer's trying to judge where she thinks Antonio was at. Does he have the absolute nuts, a 5-8 or an 8-10? Does he have a set, or does he have a hand like he has, 8-9 or 2-8? Raise it. Raise. And again, Jennifer is gambling. 30. The new Harmon raises the $62,000. Oh, boy. Time to get there. <laughs> Son of a gun. Antonio's probably putting Jennifer on 
Exactly the kind of hand she has. 30 more. And he's getting over three to one. Even if Jennifer would have three nines here, Antonio would have to call. <laughs> Talk business after you call. <laughs> right, well, thir I'm definitely calling. I'm never going anywhere. 36, so you're 37. Calling? Yeah, 38. Okay, so you're saying call. Wait, wait, wait. 38, three more. First of all, here's 30. Oh, he's got more money. Excuse me, pardon me, I'm sorry. The other eight, three. This is cold. Yeah. I forgot that he had, he had a couple more thousand. And Did four. Did you say all in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, four, you 83. five, seven, 8,300 more. 8, <laughs> all right, now you guys can decide what you all want well, to do. Wait a minute, I might have to call first. Okay, I call. What do you look disappointed because I called? Sure, I call. have to call. Why don't you open up your hand? How many times do you guys run it? Now, wait a minute. Don't do anything. I had jack eight, Mike. That's my... Give her 1700 back, right? Yeah. What do you, this is... What'd you have, Mike? This I had jack eight. I have a straight giant pair. I have huh? a over pair. Open Nine eight? Ten was nuts So for I me. have two... What do you have? I'll just open them up. Queens. I'm give you 1700 change, okay? I have queens. Okay. I'm not lying. I, I believe you. I have eight. What do you have, eights? Yeah. I had jack eight. Oh, sorry. <laughs> But it doesn't matter. So you want to run it twice? Or you want to chop, is that what you said, you want to chop it? Yeah, you want to chop it? Can't chop it, but I'll run it twice. Can you push, can you push it? I hate running it twice, but I hate going broke too. <laughs> you want to run it three times? Definitely not three times. Antonio usually doesn't like to run it more than once. Right. <sighs> you want me to take yeah. ten two thirds? What do I have, I have 10 outs twice? You know that? Mike? Jennifer wants to take two thirds, which would make her a 67% favorite. She's only 63% favorite. But she very graciously will take 67% of the pot. <laughs> Why not? What do you want to do? Just one time. One time. One time. Let's go. Antonio's a gambler. He says, run the cards. Whoever wins, wins. One time deal. One time. He was tempted, but he's going to stick with his standard procedure. Turns a king of clubs. Didn't get lucky on that one. Needs a five, an eight, or a ten right here. No. Another king on the river. Jennifer wins a huge pot here. Oh. So, for the magician, it's time to reload or time to hit the road. But is there a straddle? No. Believe it or not, there was not a straddle. But Jennifer's going to make a 2200 with an ace king of hearts. And Eric Lindgren's just going to call with a pair of tens. You're right, Paul Wasiga was our big winner in the last game. He was aggressive. But what's uh, He was aggressive and he got the cards. What's Townsend going to do here at 9-7? This seems to be his favorite type hands. He's raised with these type hands before. 9-7 suited, Jack-9 suited. It looks like he's going to raise again. Yeah. 84. Wow, he's raising to 8,400. Now, will Jennifer, with Ace King of Hearts, pop him, or will Eric Lindgren, with a pair of tens, pop him? Let's see. Jennifer's thinking about it. Calls. Just calls. Now it's up to Eric. I would say that Jennifer was more likely to raise in that situation. Like 120, 10, 70. Yeah. How much are you? How much you have? I say. At 150, 160. Okay. We'll call 8,000 and show you guys what I have. Flop comes 5, 10, deuce. What a flop! What a flop! Jennifer flops the nut flush draw, and Eric flops the set. Nice. And Brian Townsend looks like he's going to bet here. What's he doing? He set it up with how much he got. If I don't open my mouth. And here he goes. Oh, no. He's going to step right into this. Just want to make sure he, had he bets 20500 20, That's going to hurt. Yeah, he was trying to run over them. Now he ran right into them. <laughs> He's like us. He's a six-hour session. Sure. And for sure, if Jennifer doesn't raise, hit, Eric's going to raise. It's got to be the I think Jennifer's probably putting Brian on a pair of jacks or a pair of queens. And she also knows that Eric's in the hand. I don't know why they call Jennifer. Don't make it upset. Look at that. Sammy just realizes a, a hand going on here. Hang on, no. Quiet down. She's going to call again. That's two hands in a row, Gabe, where she's thinking he's. Uh, 
calls you don't really necessarily agree with, do you? No, I think she should have raised, but Eric Lindgren's going to raise here for sure. Oh, yeah. All in. All in. And there he goes. He's all in. He raised the 66900 bucks. He has enough money in there. He sees the two hearts. Brian realizes he <laughs> had bad timing on that. Jennifer's got a call now. Yeah. Eric's got absolutely the worst hand against her a set. If Eric had a pair of jacks or a pair of queens, she could also win with an ace or king. But right now, she's going to need a heart without the board pairing. As you can see, she's a huge underdog. Yeah. But there was nothing she could do about it. When you have ace, king of hearts in a situation like this, you got to go. What do you have? Twice is fine. Twice. Twice. And they're going to run twice here. Well, they're talking about it. Have they agreed to run it twice? I think they will. Yep, they are. Okay. Yeah. You're right, AJ. They're going to run it twice. Uh, king of clubs. Uh, it doesn't help her. No. Another king won't help either. She needs a heart here and not the deuce of hearts. Uh, six of diamonds. Eric wins our first one. It's always wow. nice to win the first one, huh, Sammy? <laughs> <laughs> that takes the edge off. That wasn't you, Jennifer. Huh? That wasn't you, though. <laughs> no. That's what she said. She said Big right. relief for Eric. He knows he can't lose now. Yeah. Worst he can do is tie. Okay, I'll make a deal with you. You want to sell your hands for the next half? Wait, wait. Hmm? Maybe Sammy is he serious? No, just you. I don't know if he was serious. Oh, he said that. Oh. I can't believe he was serious. He must know that Jennifer was still a big okay, underdog. But sometimes that, Sammy says things that yeah. aren't serious, and I can't believe he was serious uh, there. I think we lost the player for the popular. Either way, Lingren takes down a pot of 181,200 bucks. You might have gained one, buddy. <laughs> right. Yeah, we might have gained Jennifer instead. <laughs> I'll take the shadow. All right, Eli, your turn, buddy. 24. All right. I played more hands than Daniel has today. 48 to Daniel. Night. 48 to Daniel. I'll do it. 48 to Daniel. I just fold mine on the, before the 48 to Daniel. <laughs> 48. Hey, I'll put the 12. Hang on. Bob Safai put the 1,200. 48. 48. Ellie put the 2,400. Oh, my God. Wow. Daniel. Oh, my Look at one card. I've never seen Daniel playing that tight. I swear to God. I'm getting garbage or good not, cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah garbage. The either that or you're not playing your own money. I'm 100% playing my own money. Well, you if play I was playing somebody else's money, money, I'd be gambling. No, you play your money faster than this. I know that. I don't gamble with you. Sammy's out. Buzz it's going to be difficult to look at that board and not see, not see Sammy on the board there with a the hand. The Bob Safai is playing late for your offsuit. Not a whole lot. Well, it cost him 1200 It's okay. You can pull it all in. I'm going to call it 24 You never see someone do No kidding. He has a hand. It's a five. Five-way action to the flop. Maybe we have you as a judge. Hottest what? 10 Hottest 7 king. Mom in Mike Baxter and Daniel Legrano well, flop yeah. kings, but Jennifer's got two <laughs> pairs. Like men? He was thinking. Hottest one. Meanwhile, Legrano's about 8,000. Oh my god. And what's little Jennifer so going to do with the bottom two pair we're, here? We're, we're, looks like we're going to do a big finale. I think I'll do things for free here. I don't care about that. Jennifer's probably going to raise here. Here she goes. Here we go. 32. A brick and a biscuit. $32,000 raise. That's what I like about you. You got it. Brick and a biscuit. Why not? You, you got, got him, got buddy. Him. You got him. And Mike Baxter is aware <laughs> that Jennifer has not gambled too much. Yeah. I know against what Sammy, I think he'd go all in, but against Jennifer, he's going to throw his hand away. I got the sick feeling she has, like, queen jack now, of diamonds. Daniel right. has played a lot against Jennifer over the years. Yeah. And he knows that if Jennifer had queen jack of diamonds, ace queen of diamonds, ace jack of diamonds, she'd make this move. That's a 50 bat bundle, right? Yeah, I'll help you. 30. Let's keep the 20. My God, you call? Just 32, right? Okay, which leaves her what? 
Thirty-three. Now, Jennifer did have ace queen or ace jack of diamonds. She would still be a favorite. Yeah. Twenty-six. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-five. Four. Thirty-five. Do you want the fives to play? No. <laughs> 354 plus that. <laughs> we can hire you to be a judge. I just judge? I can't put you, you on anything but Queen no, Jack of Diamonds. You want free things not out what of you us. Need, not what you want. You wouldn't believe how He is thinking Queen numbers. Jack of Diamonds. The numbers or kings. And I guess what he's thinking is if Jennifer's a small favorite, it pays him to call here with the amount of money that's in the pot already. <laughs> okay. I'm all in. Daniel's gone for it. All right, here we go. Let's put Jennifer all in. I guess I have to call. Okay. You want to run it okay, twice? Check this out. Yeah. Queen Jack? Give me the, I was hoping you had the Queen Jack of Diamonds. But. No, I don't. Get me beat? Yeah. Two pair? Yeah. Okay. Sevens and tens? Okay. Mm. Two times. So they've agreed to run it two times. Two times the whole thing or two times the last two? Huh? Two times the last two The last two only like because yeah. they see the flap over there. Yeah, two times. Oh, Dan's hoping to win one of these. I was going to tell you Split this pot. I'm going to give Then you can go that Ace Jack of Diamonds. Jack of spades. Good it's a good card for Daniel. Gives him a lot more outs. He's only 36% dog now. It wasn't the worst card in the deck for me. No, I agree. Nine, Jack, Queen, Queen, Dace. There's a nine of spades for one Daniel. For That's one of his outs. I thought it was a spade on the flop. Good thing we ran it twice. <laughs> good thing for Jennifer. You don't know yet. <laughs> well, I, would, I mean, that's true. I could win both. Another Ace of card. spades. Another good card for Daniel. Mm -hmm. Not Ace quite as good as a jack. jack. There's one jack gone. Yes. Oh, yeah. And a queen. Wow. Negrano wins both hands. What are the odds what of that, Gabe? Who won the second Probably one? about six to one, I would guess. <laughs> Pretty strong. Okay, rebuy. 